All right. Citizens of the Reject Nation, Greg here today. You know, first off, here's what I want to say. I want to say thank you to all who have supported us over the years, the months, weeks, days. If it was just today, <laughs> this is your first video with us. This is a, a weird first video because uh, it's not normally what we do. But uh, hey, here, welcome. Welcome anyway. Um, yeah, it's been a, been a long time since I've done a video like this on the channel talking about this platform in a not so positive way because I wanted to say thank you up front because I'm I, I am very much grateful for what this platform has offered just my life in general. Like it has changed my life for the better in so many ways. And I'm aware that I'm in a very fortunate position. So, you know, like uh, I, it's been a long time since I've publicly <laughs> decided to say something about some of the, the faultier parts of this platform. But something happened this morning that sort of just reached a tipping point. Because, like, even though it's been a while since I've said something publicly, it's not like there haven't been things compounding since I last said something. It's It's been pretty much nonstop. A lot of things that you might hear other, you know, content creators talking about, we have most certainly been dealing with that. Age restrictions? Wow. That is through the roof. It is, like, nonstop. This platform is so much more sensitive than it once was. And yeah, uh, like even now I'm, I'm being very, very like weary about, well, I'm be careful about what swear word I say, because I don't want to get age restricted over something so silly. Uh, but yeah, we, like, we, we deal with that. But there, there's something that happened today that, that isn't even as major, but it was just another thing to just, it was the final, the final nail in the coffin for me. Like, I, I just got to vent about something that's going on with the with the systems at play here because it just doesn't feel equal it just doesn't feel fair it doesn't feel right so here's the short version of what happened this morning now a couple days ago I heard the avatar way of water trailer was coming out and you know how we do we're gonna be covering it and i'm very excited for that movie so it came out at like 5 30 in the morning 5 30 called john tell him to come over here gotta shoot it now we have like a lot of videos here that obviously will take many, many hours to to assemble. Like a lot of them do. A trailer reaction, all right. I'll give it the benefit here. Is that they don't really take as long as those other videos. It usually only takes me like an hour to up to edit it, and then you know like an hour to finalize a thumbnail and and, and finish uploading it. Right. So like a couple of hours on average. So not not that long. Okay. But it's the video is not about that. That's not what i wanted to talk about here's here's what went on okay i'll just be straightforward about it went to upload the video also leave a like that'd be very much appreciated It'll help us out here went to upload the video and uh it was blocked it was partially blocked but it was really mainly blocked because it was 94 percent of the world where it wouldn't be able to be seen like, wow that's most people all right let me try another upload and in the middle of re-editing the video and messing with the trailer itself i I, I was on YouTube and I saw that there were other people who were able to get their videos public with, with no blocks or, or no copyright claim issue. And I was a little bit surprised to see that. And there was one channel who you guys might know of. He's a friend of mine. Uh, they have a channel where if there is even a copyright claim, just a copyright claim, they're not going to make that video public on their channel they'll more than likely move it to their Patreon account. That's not something we personally have adopted, uh, but I know that about their channel. And when I saw their video, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Our video is way more heavily manipulated <laughs> than what their video is, right? So I was like, okay, I, maybe this is maybe a fluke for us. Let me let me just try another edit. Cut to seven uploads later. I have now done every trick in the book to the point where the trailer reaction would be unwatchable, but I was getting desperate. I had dropped the opacity down to 90%. I had put it in a circle, and it, so it was extremely cropped in. Not only that, every frame of it 
was completely flipped. I had entirely altered the audio around to the point where you might not even really be able to hear anything of what's really going on in that trailer. So I really messed with it, and I messed with the speed of the trailer, too. Every little trick in the book I could to just try to get it public. By this point, I'm like, this is this is freaking fair use. This is nowhere near like a re-upload of the trailer now at this point. Still kept getting blocked. Still kept getting blocked. I didn't understand why. I was like, why is Disney Fox blocking us exactly? Why, why are they blocking us? Because they normally don't. Disney Fox is usually pretty cool. They're spending the history of copyright claim, but a block is a completely different story. Went to look at the claimant. The claimant was not Disney or Fox. The claimant is a, a, is a company called Fox Star Studios. Now, from the little bit of research that I could do, their involvement for what this movie, is, like, it just made no sense to me. They're able to issue a content ID that whoever uses any of this trailer, all ad revenue goes to Fox Star Studios. Doesn't make any sense. I've seen this happen with other movie trailers before. A company might have the, uh, the slitherest amount of involvement with a the film. They're like, but if anyone, well, we can now slap a content ID there. So if anyone uses any of it, we get all the ad revenue for it. And that's essentially what Fox Star Studios is doing. At least this is my presumption from, from the little bit of research I did is that they're now called Star Studios, and they're an Indian company, and I'm assuming they handle the distribution for Fox Films in India. Now, if they were to claim us for you know, the, the, the visibility in India, that would make sense to me. If they were to block us even to, from being seen in India, that makes sense to me. But no, that's not what they did. And here's how I know it's a bunch of bullshit, because I realized, oh, wait, no, we can now make this public. If we dispute the copyright claim... Because normally what happens is this. If you dispute a copyright claim, you normally go into a thing called escrow. And what that means is the claimant's not YouTube. The claimant has 30 days to review your claim. And if they're like, all right, yeah, it's fine. We'll let the claim go. Then you can recoup that monetization, earn whatever earnings are on that video within 30 to 90 days. It can usually take a while, right? So if we were able to go into escrow, that actually wouldn't be a problem for me. I know it's a problem for others, but it wouldn't be a problem for me because it at least gives us a fighting chance of getting the uh, the AdSense earnings on that video, but we couldn't even go into escrow. The only option they left us with, because the, there's a vid one of the uploads I was able to make public. That is not the one that is completely messed up. So if you, it's a decent quality one, all right? But the only option they left us with is you can make this public, but you're not going to go into escrow, and all money, all ad earnings from the ads will go directly to Fox Star Studios, and. I said earlier that this is like a compounding effect because it is another case of bullshit content ID claimant systems. There's this company out there where what they do is they upload the audio of a trailer and they put like a graphic over it, just some random graphic has nothing to do with the movie, but that allows them the ability to create a content ID that if anyone uses any bit of that trailer, any little bit, they can claim that they own the audio to that. All they're doing is re-uploading the audio and they're able to create a content ID system and go, we own all, all of that. So anything they do, the, the ad revenue should go to us. I remember PewDiePie was talking about this. Not, uh, I mean, I forget how long, it might have been a while ago. Someone was doing that with his music, and then they were claiming his videos, like his own original music, and they were able to issue copyright claims onto him. I know that I can do this with other channels. That we get messages constantly. For example, we cover Ant Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, right? We'll get some message that some one other YouTube channel that only uploads movie trailers uploaded the Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania trailer, and then they'll say, "Hey, they uploaded this. We think this might be your video they're using footage from. Do you want a copyright claim?" So I could theoretically issue a copyright claim on like movie clips trailers sometimes and just be a total dick about it and be like, no, we own this. Even though I'm telling you, like it's obvious, we don't own it. All we did was do a reaction to it. But the system is so faulty. I, in this position, can issue a copyright claim. I've had people doing this to us for sometimes with our own videos. <laughs> it's the most bizarre thing. <laughs> or they'll just re-upload our video and then they'll claim us. And now I know putting the word out there is probably not going to help me out at all. I mean, what does it matter? Oh, I got nothing left to do now, but just kind of explain to everyone how shady this system is that you can easily just flat out steal from people 
with all, like no effort at all. <laughs> it's so bizarre. I try. I, sometimes I say something on Twitter or whatever, and maybe something a, a little thing in a video. I feel like their systems to protect content creators just is so faulty. If that's the word that just keeps coming to mind. Like we were one of the channels. I didn't even say anything about it. Uh, like I said something about it on Twitter, but I didn't say anything about it on the channel. Uh, we were one of the channels that a, a couple weeks ago there was a glitch on YouTube and a lot of content creators, ourselves included, we just lost all monetization for the the entire Saturday that it occurred. And I remembered I had I, had, I was up to like three in the morning working on a video that I had scheduled to upload. And of course, I didn't realize that we lost monetization after the video had already gone live via scheduling. But that day alone, we got like 300,000 views that day. And not as was actually closer to like half a million. We had no monetization on it at all. <laughs> like, I don't expect YouTube to do anything. Well, let me just ask if they're planning on doing something. And of course, they're like, yes, yeah, sorry, it was a glitch. <laughs> I know a lot of other people dealt with that too. And I mean, I know some people who are fortunate enough to not be part of that glitch. That's just an, another example of like, that was an extremely frustrating day when you're like up all night working on a video. And, and then on top of that, just all the other videos combined, you get like almost half a million views and, and no monetization. YouTube's like, nope, shit happens. <laughs> it baffles me that YouTube hasn't had a system in place to some department or whatever you know, like I, I don't know how much i'm really asking for here when i feel like there's so many people way bigger than us who bitch about this who say that this is a real problem to deal with with the copyright claims and the age restrictions and then they say they have somewhat like the fact that it's the claimant who's reviewing it and not someone at youtube who's reviewing it is wild to me sometimes it can be ridiculous like just beat a claim from universal where they they had issued the exact same claim to us with the same time stamp, the same exact claim, same wording twice. So they, it, they put us in a really weird position where we had to fight the same claim twice. They were issued at the exact same time. Like, how can you issue, how can you do a double? There's like nothing different about the claim. <laughs> they issued like a double on us. Fortunately, was able to beat it. But still, the fact that we're put in like a constant having to, to, to fight it out with these guys is insane to me that there's not a department in place to help out with this. When it comes to these manual reviewers of people who review the videos for the age restrictions, it doesn't feel like there's actually someone really doing it. There's movies and shows that we've covered where we've got an age restrictions on, and age restrictions pretty much mean you're not going to be monetized, and on top of that, you're not even going to get like the visibility. So sometimes like the movie reactions, they can take so long to put together. They're age restricted, so then they're, they're not even getting seen. And that's like that becomes the most disheartening part of the whole process to me is, man, I really wanted more people to see my everything everywhere all at once reaction. But then I'll watch other people's movie reactions like the same parts that apparently I'm age restricted for. I'm seeing in this person's video and they're not age restricted. So I don't understand what the guideline system is for these manual reviewers. I'm very much vexed by this whole situation because, you know, like my, I think a big part of why I, I didn't want to keep doing videos about it when I feel like every month I can sort of do a video about it. You know, one thing that you'll find uh, any, 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 any like person who makes their living off of YouTube in some way will attest that the most common thing that you talk about with other YouTubers is not, we all sound like a bunch of ungrateful bastards. We all, so much of us do, we really do, <laughs> is that we just mainly bitch about YouTube, <laughs> about like there's the new issue they've created or the ongoing problem that still hasn't fixed because our we our lives depend on this this platform. That that's that's the thing. And and a big part of our job is to make sure that when the camera rolls that we're just having a fun time and we're having a good time and we want people to feel good when they're here. I didn't want to keep putting out the the the, the stressful part. I do think though that uh, like talking about this is, is important and it is something that I know I'm not alone on going through with this, even with the situation with the Avatar trailer. To me, it's just like, why is it that all these other people are able to get their video not claimed, but some of us are getting claimed and getting our videos blocked? How is that fair? I'm not saying that their videos should be blocked, 
I'm saying Fox Star Studios shouldn't be doing this to anybody to begin with. Nobody should. If, if it's not freaking Disney and Fox, I don't think Fox Star Studios should have control over the visibility around the world of whether or not our video should be seen, nor should they be entitled to all the monetization rights for the video. So yeah, there's there's a lot of the the, the same problems I've talked about before are still ongoing. And they've only evolved in, in, in newer ways that feel like they, they just, they, YouTube's always issuing stuff about like wanting to protect its content creators or whatever. And, and I, I, I never really get the sense that that's really where the interest is at, you know? And I feel like a lot of you guys pick up on that too. So, yeah, uh, just another, Another bullshit situation that uh, I, I had to get off my chest because even though today it feels like a, a smaller issue compared to a lot of the other ones we've dealt with that I just haven't talked about, it was just pushing me over the edge to be like, this isn't fair. This is like, this, it's just not fair. It, it, it's not fair. If we're not all in the same boat together on this freaking co copyright claim situation, then nobody should be getting copyright claimed or everyone should be in copyright. It should be one or the other. And my belief is Foxstar Studios shouldn't be claiming anyone to begin with in, in that regard. Their content ID should be set up for, for solely India, <laughs> if that's the case. But, but for worldwide, like, come on. What a bunch of crap. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's my rant for today. <laughs> Jesus Christ.